Hello everyone, this is Anuj from Chemical Engineering Concepts and we welcome you on this third video of this uh, heterogeneous catalysis series, right? So in today's lesson, we are going to focus on the pore diffusion resistance, which will combine uh, uh, both the mass transfer diffusion and the surface kinetics, right? So let's jump into our topic, right? Which is here with us so we have supposed right so guys we have supposed here a single cylindrical pore of length l you can see this is the length l right and this is the x axial direction in which you can see the reactant will move on right the reactant will go inside this pore okay this is a cylindrical shaped pore right uh, uh, the reactant a is diffusing into this pore and reacting on the surface by the first order reaction right so we are supposing a first order reaction here right and at this end at the end of this pore there is no reaction happening right there is no reaction happening and actually this is an elementary section which we have supposed to find out uh, the rate right the uh, the uh, the reaction step and the mass transfer step right so we, we are here we have supposed this elementary shape of the uh, catalyst pore so let's see that uh, first of all we should be focusing on the surface reaction that will be happening right the reaction step we have taken it as the first so since it's a first order reaction then uh, this is our first uh, step that is the reaction step right this is showing the reaction which is taking place at the wall of the pores right and uh, uh, it will have product which will diffuse which will be diffusing out of the pore right next we have at the steady state we have the material balance of the reactant a right uh, for that elementary section which we have supposed right so this will tell us the flow of the material into and out of any section of the pore right which i already shown you in the previous slide so at the uh, at the steady state we will have our input minus output is the uh, is equal to basically disappearance right and this is our basic uh, material balance now we can see the material balance in a mathematical form right so this is the diffusion right this is the molecular diffusion uh, which is in right uh, and in, in which is at the input of the elementary section this is the diffusion that is going out right and this is the step for the reaction right the reaction rate step right and now if we just rearrange this equation in the most basic form right and uh, this will give us the following equation and let's just simplify it furthermore okay by taking limits right by taking limits of delta x which will be approaching zero we will have this equation this is a simple right this is a very simple uh, second order uh, ordinary differential equation right and before defining uh, before just solving this equation let's define some more terms right so we know that uh, this is the relationship between the basic uh, reaction rates right the reaction rates based on different domains right this first one rv is for the volume of the reactor right and this r dash w will be for the weight of the catalyst right and this r double dash as is based on the surface area of the catalyst right so if we define if we define and just establish a relationship between this first one and the third one right the volume of the reactor and the surface area of the catalyst we will have this relationship so this k star okay k double dash actually this k double dash can be can be replaced by this uh, k term right which uh, we will be doing now right so we have replaced the term and we, now we have this k term right in our ordinary differential equation right and this this can be solved right this can be easily solved and this is our solution right this is coming from the basic mathematics of differential equation right the solution is m1 e to the power mx plus m2 e to the power minus mx right and m1 m2 here are the two constants right and how we have defined m is this right root over k over d right k is our reaction rate constant and d is our diffusivity right and we can define it in terms of different k's as well right now let's move further now since it's a second order ordinary differential equation that means we will have to have two boundary conditions to get the value of these constants m1 and m2 
right so these are the two boundary conditions that you can see at the initial point that is at axial position x equal to 0 we will have the concentration of a as the surface concentration right and at the end of this pore right the at the end of the cylindrical pore that is at the length of x equal to l we will have the rate of change okay the change of the concentration in the axial position will be zero right because this that is the end that is the dead end and that is the end of our pore right so these two boundary conditions can be used and by applying these boundary conditions we will get these value of our constant okay so this is m1 and m2 that we have got now just substitute these values and this is the relationship this is the ratio that we will get okay guys i am not mentioning the basic mathematical uh, simplifications okay so this is the basic mathematics that i think you all should know right and i do not need to explain this again and again right so basic mathematics you must know okay so this actually this ratio is telling us the progressive drop in the concentration when the component a when the reactant a is moving into the pore right so this is our equation for the concentration right here we can see this ml term right we will define this is an important term this ml term is an important term and we will define it uh, in, in a physical terms as well right so this is the drop in concentrations that that you can see this is the concentration at the surface right and as it moves along the pore this is the reduction that you can measure right this is the reduction that you can observe right and let's move on so guys this is the thiele modulus which is the ml term which we just defined right so uh, basically it's an important uh, uh, important term which will tell you the dominance of the reaction rate or step or the diffusion rate step right so this is how it is defined root over of reaction rate divided by the diffusion rate multiplied by the characteristics length right so we are going to discuss this characteristic length furthermore in our uh, uh, coming slides right so guys uh, this is uh, how we define it mathematically right for any type of reaction for any order of reaction right you can see and this expression is very important guys if you remember this you can just define the theorem modulus for any order of reaction right so you can see here the value of this Thiele modulus will tell you that which of the step that is the either the reaction rate step or the diffusion rate step is dominating right and which one is the slower step and has the rate determining step right let's move so here we can see the characteristics length right so characteristics length basically is the ratio of the volume of the particle right the volume of the particle divided by the exterior surface that is available for the reactant penetration right and uh, it will be r by 3 for sphere it will be r by 2 for cylinder and it will be simply length okay l for a slab okay so this is how it is defined for different shapes right this will be helpful in your examination right uh, amazing step and uh, amazing uh, thing to note down and remember right you must not uh, forget the basic definition that is the volume of the particle divided by the exterior surface that is available right now uh, one more thing is important that is to measure how much the reaction rate is lowered because of the resistance due to pore diffusion right this is very important and hence we are defining this another term that is the effectiveness factor it is the ratio of the actual mean re reaction rate with the pore okay with pore okay when we are having a pore uh, and divided by the rate if if it is not slowed by the pore diffusion that way that is if we are not uh, if we are supposing that we do not have any pore okay that means there is only the reaction step okay so here you can see the rate which is with the diffusion okay and the rate which is without the diffusion right and if we want to define this term for a single order reaction it will be this ca over cas obviously it will be right and it is also known as it is also called as this 10 h ml divided by ml because we have defined this ratio okay you must know we have defined this uh, ratio c upon c s previously in terms of cost terms and you can define it in terms of 
10 oils as well right ml we know is the thelium modulus which we have discussed uh, earlier now uh, with this figure this figure is a very very important with this figure we can tell whether pore diffusion modifies uh, the rate of reaction and uh, if you see if you just observe this uh, figure it shows that uh, this depends on the value of the thelium modulus okay if it is large or small if the thelium modulus is small or mainly if the value of thelium modulus that is ml if it is less than 0.4 we see that this value of this uh, effectiveness factor okay if it is less than that value it, its value will be almost equal to 1 right and uh, it says that the concentration of the reactant does not drop appreciably within the pore okay and we will be having the same uh, reaction rate terms on the numerator and the denominator thus the pore diffusion offers negligible resistance okay this can also be verified okay this can also be verified by noting that the small value of m basically guys if you just look at the uh, definition of the thelium modulus it will tell you the exact situation okay we have a small value of this thelium modulus means either we have a short pore okay either we have a slow reaction or we have a rapid diffusion okay so these three factors are very important that will tell you how the resistance is going to lower right now let's look at if we have the thelium modulus value as larger okay so if the value is larger than 4 basically okay let's suppose this is 4 okay and according to the convention that is given by different authors if the value of ml is greater than 4 then the value of this effectiveness factor will be equal to 1 upon ml that is 1 upon the thelium modulus and in that case in that case guys the reaction concentration drops rapidly to zero the reaction concentration drops rapidly to zero when we move into the pore hence we can uh, we can see that the diffusion strongly influence the rate of reaction okay because the reaction concentration is, is dropping suddenly to zero right we actually call this uh, as the strong pore diffusion regime right so this is how things are defined in this uh, uh, in this uh, figure in this plot right we can also measure the changes in the volume right the volume changes hugely affect because volume is directly linked with the characteristics length as we already have seen right so whatever we have studied in the previous slide in the previous figure are uh, summarized in this step okay are summarized in this step and you can see that if the value of this thelium modulus is less than 4 actually uh, less than 0.4 actually these uh, these uh, summary is very very important in the as the in the exam point of view because these things will be easily remembered and you should remember them right so if we have this uh, value of thelium modulus less than 0.4 then we have a slow reaction right a small pore diffusion a faster diffusion right and the reaction step obviously is a slower that means it's a rate controlling step and in that case we will have this uh, rate will be this value right you can see this is our thelium modulus ratio right the value of uh, thelium modulus right next if the value of this thelium modulus is greater than 4 the value of the effectiveness factor will be 1 by thelium modulus right and we will have a faster reaction a large pore size we have a slow diffusion and uh, obviously if uh, we have a slow diffusion that means this pore diffusion is going to be the rate controlling step and this is how we define it this is how we define the rate in that case so guys this was the basic discussion on the uh, pore diffusion right which is the dominating one how we can just uh, see that uh, either the reaction rate is dominating or the pore diffusion is the uh, rate controlling or vice versa right so i hope you have find this uh, video amazing right if you have liked the video please hit the like button okay please hit the like button please subscribe to my channel if you have any doubt if you have any question please uh, uh, ask me in the comment box and i will surely try to answer them all and again i would like to request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any update that is coming on in this series and upcoming videos on chemical engineering concepts 
right we have lots more to come in the based on the gate examination as well right for that you have to subscribe to my channel right and hit the bell icon we will be meeting you with another video on this topic okay we have not finished yet with the heterogeneous catalysis and we will be coming up with more content till then goodbye